Guys, here we have it. One UI 8.0 beta, it's now available. Let's dive in and get the details. Of course, I do love the new weather application revamp. You can see the difference. This is One UI 8, that's One UI 7. Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we have some amazing news. One UI 8.0 beta is now available to download and install, so you can try that on your phone. Now you can see on this Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra unlocked model, I have the One UI 8.0 already installed. I'm simply waiting to tap on the restart so I can get the full experience. Now before I do that, I'm gonna show you guys quickly how to install and what phones are eligible. So first and foremost, let me show you guys how to install, how to check if you're eligible. So go to your Samsung members application on your smartphone. So right over here, Samsung members application, okay? And that's gonna be pre-installed. Once you go there, in the main screen, you are gonna see a beta program menu. If you don't see it on the top over here, scroll down, it might be at the bottom, okay? You will find it, and then you click on it, all right? Once you click on it, in my case, you can see I already joined. But if I bring my other Samsung phone that is not joined the beta, you can see, again, this is an S25 Ultra as well. If I scroll all the way down in the Samsung members application, this is what I see. I tap on this one, and then I get the option to actually join. It says open, so I can tap on open. And once I tap on open, here's the important thing. This test beta supports T-Mobile and unlocked devices only. So if you don't have one of those, either T-Mobile or Unlock phone, you're not gonna be able to experience the beta, okay? But basically, if you have it, you tap on join, and then once you tap on join, then you go over here, settings, scroll down, tap on software update, tap on download and install, and it's gonna show up right here. It is gonna start to install automatically. It's gonna be a seamless update, and once it is installed, you're gonna see this restart now option. So that is how you join the actual beta and download the beta. Now let's see what phones are eligible initially. So if you look at Samsung press release, which says the One UI 8 beta program, it says the new Galaxy foldables will come with this out of the box, and that's the Z Fold 7, Z Flip 7, and all that stuff that is coming in a couple months. But right now, we have the early access, and if I scroll down right over here, you can see it says the program is kicking off today, starting with the Galaxy S25, S25 Plus, S25 Ultra in Germany, Korea, the United Kingdom, and the United States, which is where I am located. So that's it. Now, if I go back over here, you can see the beta is massive, it's 3.5 gigabytes. It's got the May security patch. It says One UI version 8, Android 16. Let me tap on restart, I'll be right back, show you guys what's going on here. Of course, there's gonna be a detailed video with all the new features as well in a couple hours. All right, so once you complete the update, you can go to the home screen, you can start. Let's tap on start, see what happens over here. All right, so it's gonna give us some uh, walkthrough and some agreement of terms. You can see we have it right here. I'm gonna tap on agree. Uh, it gives me a quick summary of Galaxy AI intelligence, which should not be any different than what it's already there, except for enhancements. I'm gonna tap on next, all righty. Uh, instantly access notifications and quick settings. So all this is basically One UI 7.0 stuff. So let's see what's new. If I tap on what's new, then it's gonna actually break down to show me what's new, but they have not populated that yet. Remember, this is a beta, okay? But so far, it seems to be smooth. Let's go home, okay? So we are at the home. Overall look and feel is the same, obviously. That's not gonna change that easily. And if I look at my menus, that's gonna look the same overall, okay? Let's go to the settings, up and down, tap on about phone. I'm in the software information, One UI version 8, Android 16, fantastic. And then I'm gonna go back over here to software update and I'm gonna tap on last update, and you can see when you get the One UI 8 beta, you can tap on all changes, and you are able to get the details of all the changes. Now I will let you know, it's not gonna be a dramatic change like from One UI 6 to 7, but there's gonna be a lot of enhancements to existing features, like the quick share feature, like being able to find downloaded files, uh, you're gonna have redesigned Samsung internet, 
more convenient AI select, which is something I really like. So with the AI select, look at this now. When I tap it, no need to wait. You can instantly start circling something, all right? So AI select, you can now select an area of the screen immediately instead of having to wait for the animation to complete. That's great, okay? Some people are in a time constraint. We don't have time for animations slowing us down. It, they're good to have, but if they slow you down, that's not good. So tap over here and look at that. I can instantly start selecting. I still have my animation, but selection process starts immediately. If I go down over here, we have the multitasking enhanced display support. We're gonna show you all these things in a separate video with all the details of the new features. We do have enhanced split screen view. While two apps are open in the split screen view, you can push one app against the edge of the screen to keep it partially visible. So let me show that to you really quickly. Again, there's a beta bug right there, but let's do a split screen. Okay, let's uh, do this one. And look at this, I can now go all the way at the bottom right here and keep it a little bit at the bottom here. That is in fact new, okay? We did not have that uh, option. So this is the maximum amount of minimization you can do with the secondary application. Alrighty, so let's go back over here to my settings, all changes. So that's the multitasking. So that's the enhanced split screen. We have some reminder app updates, okay? You can pause and read this. We have some calendar app updates, better management, better event addition to your calendar. We have updates to our modes and routines. We have update to the Samsung Health application. We have update to our communication, including the profile cards, which is very important. I love the fact that they, they are making a change to that. That's a very underrated feature. Now, for those of you who do not know what the profile card is, when you tap on any contact, you are able to get a profile card and a picture that you can set for that person. So in my case, if I tap on edit, this is what it would look like. And if I tap on edit, this is gonna be the large one. That's gonna be the small one. I can tap on edit and you can see I can modify uh, my profile picture based on my needs and all that stuff. Okay, so that's gonna be a enhancement to this overall and we will look at the details. And then uh, swipe, camera gets an update. You can swipe up or down to open quick controls, which is great. You're gonna be able to access quick controls faster than ever. I'm not sure if that works right now. So we'll see that in the next video. But we do have enhanced secure folder, some accessibility improvements right over here, uh, and even more improvements such as casting, enhanced alarm groups, better support, and revamped weather visuals. Let's take a look at that, weather visuals. So my weather application should be a little bit better. Yep, it is. Here's the old one, and you can see the new one has better, more detailed graphics. So that's great that it's raining outside so you can see the difference. This is much better, no question about that. All right, so we'll dig in and get every other, squeeze every other new feature out in a little bit. For now, this is the video. Just want to show you guys, it's available, how to download, who's eligible, and some of the new features that you should expect. Again, nothing dramatic here, but still, there are some new things happening. Now, install with caution. This is a beta software, it's not a joke, it's not gonna run as smooth as a regular install, okay? So only install this if you're ready to get abused. All right, guys, any questions, comments, or concerns in relation to this video, drop it down below for now. Have a fantastic day.